guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. I'm just heading over to HEB and Costco. It is time for a healthy grocery restock. I'm gonna go grab my shopping. And once we get home, I'll be sharing everything I picked up for this week, including WW points. And make sure you stay tuned to the end when I share my weekly meal plan, including ideas for breakfast, lunch, snacks, and of course, dinners. If you're new to my channel, I'm a mom on a health journey. I follow the WW plan for eating, but I'm also trying to be aware of doing family-friendly meals. This week is a little bit different because it's not only me, my husband, and our six and one and a half year old daughters. My husband's parents are actually in town visiting us and staying with us this week. So I have two more adults to think about. We also have some fun special plans we're gonna be doing with the kids. So we wanna make sure things are easy, fast, and flexible. But I'm also alone because the grandparents have Nora and I need to pick up Lila from school in just a little bit. So I don't have a lot of time. Let's head over to the grocery store and see what kind of fun finds we have for this week. Starting off with our fresh produce, all fresh, frozen, and canned fruits and vegetables are zero points on the WW plan, with a few exceptions. If I have any of those, I will list them here in the bottom bar along with all other WW points for this haul. I grabbed some bananas as well as apples to have on hand this week. I have a yellow sweet onion as well as a red onion to use for cooking or for salads. A couple packages of petite sweet carrots. My girls love carrots and hummus, which I got as well. I have a large package of spinach for salads and a large head of romaine lettuce, which we can use on salads or on sandwiches for this week for lunch. A bag of red potatoes, we'll roast these up as a side with some chicken for dinner another night. Some tomatoes on the vine. They had some decent sales in like the lunch meat department this week, so I went ahead and picked up two packages of turkey pepperoni. Josh loves snacking on that. I also grabbed some string cheese for the kids to snack on. Pirate's Booty Popcorn. This one's great for my toddler who can't have popcorn that has like a kernel in it yet. This is just like a puffed corn snack. She likes that one. I got some pita chips. We're all out of mayonnaise, so I picked up some of this Duke's Mayonnaise Light. This is my first time trying this exact option. We do like Duke's mayonnaise, but I've normally gotten the olive oil one, but I think they may have discontinued it because I haven't seen the Duke's light olive oil mayo in stores in a while. The HEB store brand cheese was buy three, get $2 off, which these were each like $2.50, I believe. So it's almost like getting a pack free. So my kids will definitely go through plenty of cheese. I grabbed two packs of the sliced sharp cheddar and then one package of provolone. Again, we'll use that with sandwiches. And I don't think you'll be able to see that expiration writing on there, but they have a nice long um, fridge shelf life. Speaking of sandwiches, I grabbed both some turkey deli meat as well as some ham and also two packages of this uncured hard salami. So we're keeping it simple, have lots of stuff on hand for sandwiches for lunch, so that way whatever our plans are for the week, we can kind of grab something and run. I bought some buttermilk so I can make biscuits this weekend. I also have some 2% milk um, just for drinking or using with cereal. Lila uses this one. I still had whole milk at home for Nora, so I didn't need to restock that yet. However, I was out of peanut butter which is a definite staple in our house. We snack on this with apples or make peanut butter sandwiches or toast, so more peanut butter. We love using hummus as a great low point snack. Lots of nice protein in there too for the kids. So we dip veggies like carrots or celery or the pita chips. My kids also love hummus spread on a tortilla with cheese done as like a roll up. Lila calls it hamushi. It's like hummus version of sushi. I grabbed some hamburger buns. I do have some uh, like preformed hamburgers that are raw in the freezer, so we'll pull those out later this week. I grabbed an 18 pack of eggs, so if we want to make scrambled eggs for breakfast or if I make up some treats or baked items later in the week. Also grabbed more bread flour since I'm gonna be doing biscuits and I'll probably also bake some French bread this week. A 20 pack of the HEB Butter Bakery Tortillas. Ugh, I love these. I talk about them all the time to you guys. They are worth the points in me saving them for the end of the night. I have a couple packages of cream cheese. I'm going to make some homemade bagels for the week. These are the crackers Lila likes along with her salami and cheese for her Lunchable. They're basically the store brand version of club crackers. I also got the kids some of these mini peanut butter crackers they like to have for snacks. Some of the Lone Stars, which are the HEB goldfish crackers. More applesauce pouches. My kids go through these like water. And then some Danimal smoothies. Lila likes to bring these um, along with her lunch to school. Grabbed one and a half pounds of 80-20 ground beef. We'll use that for taco meat. 
And then a couple random things. I picked these up for the kids because they started getting all their summer toys in. It's beautiful, sunny, and 78 degrees today. So we needed some sort of summer toys for fun in the backyard. So I got a couple bubble wands and some chalk. And then just some household items. I was out of dish soap and some all-purpose cleaning spray for like my counters and stuff. I like to get the Method Anti-Back one to clean up, especially after I use prepping meat. We also did a quick stop in at Costco. I needed to pick up some more fruit for the week. So here I have a three pound box of red seedless grapes. We found cherries in store today. I grabbed more raspberries. Nora will go through these in like three or four days. She loves raspberries. We needed some more cheddar cheese. I buy it in the large two pound block and then just shred it as we need it. I feel like it keeps really fresh that way and it's really good for melting when it's freshly shredded off the block. These are one of our favorite stock up items from Costco. They're the chicken and cheese flautas. They're refrigerated in the refrigerated section, but you can um, cut these up. And usually what we do is we slice it down the middle and we put one pack in the freezer right away. But these are so good. They make for the easiest lunch or dinner. You just grab a few, however many you need out, pop them in the air fryer for a few minutes. They get nice and crispy on the outside and have a really good flavored like chicken and cheese on the inside. We dip them in plain non-fat Greek yogurt instead of sour cream and with salt. Salsa. Restocked our Sara Lee Artisano bread. We use this for toast and sandwiches mostly. Um, I always get the two pack because it's the best deal at Costco and I can always pop it in the freezer if we're not gonna go through it fast enough. And this was a new find in the produce section. This is a three pack of mixed veggies but they're all individually packed. So it came with a package of Brussels sprouts, a pack of green beans, and some asparagus. So this is like such a great easy way to stock up on your veg for the week, but also offer some variety. Hey guys, okay, so it is the next day. It has just been so crazy busy having my in-laws in town. We've been running from thing to thing, but I wanted to make sure I circled back and walked you guys through my meal plan for the week. Breakfast foods are something I always have on hand. We have yogurt, we have oatmeal. I did pick up more eggs so we can do eggs with toast and fruit for some mornings. Over the weekend, I'm gonna make some special breakfast like biscuits. So keeping a a lot of our regular easy family staples. Lunches we're keeping really simple and I bought all that stuff to make sandwiches this week. We might go out to lunch once or twice. Sandwiches could range from nine to 12 points depending on how I do them. They could be less if I swap out the bread for a low carb tortilla, which I do have um, on hand in my pantry. But even if I do use two pieces of the Sara Lee Artisano style bread, which I picked up, that's seven points on the WW plan. I can use the light mayo for another two points, do some low point turkey and then just like veg like lettuce and tomato to like kind of fill that sandwich. If I'm also looking to cut points a little bit and up the protein, I will use hummus as a spread on my sandwich instead of mayo and cheese. I have a ton of healthy snack options in the house, whether it's going to be like a veggie and hummus plate, or I can do turkey pepperoni with a cheese stick and fruit on the side, just kind of like snick snackies. We did also just make another batch of the frozen yogurt bark. I shared that recipe in my last video where I shared a ton of my favorite snack options. I will link it in the card above for you guys if you haven't checked it out yet. Dinners we're keeping really simple this week just again because we don't know quite what our day-to-day routine is going to be like with our family saying. Last night when they got in we did tamales which are a simple refrigerated item I just pick up at Costco. We did black beans on the side. Tonight is going to be Taco Tuesday super simple for the fam. And with Taco Tuesday, I always have the option to skip out on the tortillas, even though I do love the tortillas and I usually make room for them in my evening if I'm planning on eating them that night. I can also do a taco salad and cut out all those points right there and I can have a nice easy balance night while keeping an easy meal for the family that I know everyone else is still gonna eat. Wednesday, I do have a good family meal I'm gonna cook for us that night. We're gonna do some honey mustard baked chicken with sauteed asparagus and air fryer roasted potatoes on the side. I take some thin sliced chicken breasts, which I have in my freezer stocked up, and I'll go ahead and thaw them the night before in the fridge. I actually make a marinade out of plain nonfat Greek yogurt, Dijon mustard, and just a little bit of honey. It's sweet and tangy, and the Greek yogurt, the acid in it, helps make the chicken really tender. So I massage that mixture all over the chicken and let it sit for like 10 minutes while I preheat my oven. I bake it on a sheet tray and it only takes like 15 to 16 minutes in the oven at 400 when you do the really thin cut chickens. I'll go ahead and put the instructions for that recipe of mine in the description box below. That one, my kids love it because it's like that honey mustard flavor. My kids call it Chick-fil-A chicken <laughs> because it tastes like baked chicken covered in Chick-fil-A sauce. Thursday night, Josh and his mom have a little date and they're gonna go to a college basketball game while his dad and I hang out with the girls. So we might do just like a fun pizza in a movie night. Friday night, Josh 
and I get our date night. So we're going to go out somewhere. I don't know where yet, but again, because I have my meal plan ready to go, I'll be able to kind of puzzle piece my day together with some lower point options to make sure I can enjoy my night out. We'll probably wait and see how the weekend goes, but tentatively, I know one night we're going out to do a belated birthday celebration for Lila. And then I know for sure Josh and his dad wanted to get on the barbecue together this weekend. It's going to be a great weekend weather-wise. It is a lot of going out to eat and up in the air and fast, quick stuff and being flexible this week as we have visitors. But I'm going to do the best I can with pre-planning and knowing some great low-point options for breakfast, lunches, and snacks so that I can balance out those other times. Thank you guys so much for checking out my weekly grocery haul and my weekly meal plan while following Weight Watchers. I hope this gives you some ideas for easy, quick, and flexible meals. If you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe and join the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, bye. bye.